details, please look in the description. So just before I start tonight's vlog here at Swansea, I'd like to say a big thank you to over 70,000 people who watched my vlog from Old Trafford at the weekend. Those numbers help me get sponsorship from people like musicmagpie.co.uk, Funbox Media and Bellevue Coaches who've been tremendous in the support of me and the vlog. And that means that I can bring these vlogs to you for free and hopefully other sponsors will come along as well. So thank you to them. Uh, I'd also like to say that uh, it's about a year since I did my last commentary on the BBC, which was a year ago tomorrow, actually. And so it's been a year of transition, and I thank you, everybody, for your support in this new venture of mine to do the vlogs. Now, as far as this game's concerned, it comes after the derby, a victory against Manchester United, which has sent City into a very healthy lead. But obviously these are the types of games sometimes where the opposition are underestimated and where you can slip up. So what's the mood of supporters ahead of this game today? Let's find out. Yeah, where have you come from for today? Um, from Melbourne, uh, Australia. So uh, over in uh, England for five games. Go for the last game being the, the Bournemouth game. And um, yeah, certainly the weather's come out for me. So, uh, but no, City are playing really well. I'm looking forward to tonight. And, um, yeah, really good. So any worries tonight after the Lord Mayor's parade? Oh, I was a bit of worrying because uh, we were that on such a high. But really, uh, as long as he picks a strong team, you know, I don't want, I don't like too much squad rotation. We can rotate next Tuesday in, against Leicester. Get a strong team out. Um, I wouldn't change much at all. Put Aguero in. He's, he's due to um, keep stick with Mangala. He did all right when he came on. I'd leave it as it is. Just those two changes. No need to worry, 3 0. We've got 46 points. What they got? 12. Golfing class. We'll murder these. No danger at all. No Is there a danger of being overconfident? Not at all. Not with these. They're, they're all over the place, aren't they? So, no chance. We'll, we'll smash these, definitely. No matter oh, what and team Joe, we pull out. Joe say, we are the class team and you're a sewer rat. Yeah. <laughs> We're thinking it may be a little bit tricky, to be fair, but I'm sure we'll uh, come out on top. I think tonight we should just about win it, but you know, we'll. We're all waiting for a loss, but you know, we know we're going to lose a game, and hopefully not tonight. Um, so, I reckon 3-1 tonight, just, just about doing it. 500 mile trip today from Leicestershire. We follow City away, more than we do at home. So, sorry about that. But it's my last 15th birthday today. 15th birthday, what place to spend your big one five, I know, yeah. Today, Long mate. trip, hopefully get a win. Don't want Bonnie to car one past us last minute. That's the reason he's only doing something today. Doing damage, yeah, so I'm hoping for a good result. It'll be a good day after present anyway. I think Boney as well. I think, yeah, I, I think he'll be up for it. I think they'll be up for it at the bottom of the league. Uh, yeah, very different challenge, but hopefully get a nice early goal and, uh, yeah, look to, uh, well, yeah, get three points. That's the main thing. There's obviously two stories tonight, as well as how will City do here. There's also what's been the reaction from City fans to the way that the derby's been reported and the whole milk gate scenario. So let's find out about that as well. Decent in the way that we absolutely pasted them, outclassed them. Just a little bit disappointed we didn't score a couple more to really show how much better than we, than them we are. What have you made of the way that it's been reported in the media? Uh, a smoke screen so that he doesn't have to answer questions on his own team's failings as ever when he has a bad defeat. Last year it was with Conte at Chelsea when they got hammered 4 0. This year he's having a go at us. Just a typical reaction for a man with no class. It does look as if this is a walk in the park now for City, doesn't it? No, it's a long way from it. A big, a long way from it. If we can win tonight and Saturday, puts us in a very good stead, but still a long, long way to go. I'm still drinking, but I hope it's a good event and uh, we have a great game by both sides. Uh, I think we're going to win, but you can't predict anything in football. So, What does Rudolph think? He thinks 2-0. Shumai, Jonathan, and we are Kroisui Swansea, Kroisui Albert Howe. Wow, what a welcome in Welsh. Now, you watch Swansea a lot. Do you think they can produce an upset tonight? Weather conditions are with us. There's a little bit going. We won Saturday. You just don't know what's going to happen. 
you know, on paper it's going to be City that are going to do it all the way through. But you never know. It's that one chance, that one opportunity to stay in the game. And let's see what it takes us. What everybody's fearing, that is the City fans, that Wilfred Bormy will do something dramatic tonight. Is he capable of that? He play? always scores against the side he's played, against, uh, played for. So he's done it. Stoke against us. Uh, let's see if he can pay one back tonight. He's on a run of form. He's had two in two. You never know. He's looking fit. He's looking back to what he was a couple of years ago for us. So why not? Let's see what comes. Simply scintillating. I don't really think people realise what we're seeing here. We're seeing one of the greatest ever teams in English football. Statistically, it's been the best start. Better than Spurs double winning side. The way they pass the ball and move and finish so very strongly. Players in all positions. You know they conceded one free kick in that first half. In other words, the ball is constantly moving. There aren't stop starts. It just drains opposition of any sort of belief. This is a huge Manchester City side. City fans cherish this because you are seeing something absolutely extraordinary. They make it look easy, don't they? It's just so simple to watch and yet it is so technically uh, complicated. It's all done on the training ground. They win the ball back so quickly and off they go. Run, run, push and move. The movement is scintillating, intelligent, the passing is precise the runs from deep look at silver west ham he did it manchester united he did it and again he's done it here times the runs purpley hooks them in you know ultimately goal threat goodness me and aguero he's done everything but score tonight if they've got a flaw it may be as if, if someone picks up another card and gets a five and gets suspended before new year they get another injury at center back i just can't see where the beat's going to come the most dangerous team to manchester city right now Manchester City. Are you ready? Yeah, you can see why you know the, there's this massive gap between the two teams. Manchester City absolutely flying, playing with all the confidence in the world. Swansea find it very difficult to keep hold of the ball. Whenever they get possession, they're giving it away, knocking it forward, and it's breaking down straight to a Manchester City uh, player. Then they keep possession again and they start to build up and build up. And Silva, arguably, could have had four goals to this point. Well, he's missed the City, he's to scored two goals. It won't be surprising that he'll get the match ball by the end of the night. Fantastic. Could have been double figures, couldn't it? But we'll sell for four. Watch out, Ian, there's an ambulance behind. Don't want you getting run over while you're doing your vlog. <laughs> oh, it's just out of this world, isn't it? It's amazing. Just can't get enough of it. Uh, every game, it's just going up and up a level. I felt like there was in second gear tonight. Second gear, so... I don't know what's going on, I don't know how good this you team need, can you get. You need to we'll take see. my glasses, mate, to believe it, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Cheesy, I keep Davis. telling you, honestly, best we've ever seen. And we should David pinch Silver ourselves every right. single day of every week. Unbelievable, David Silva. This doesn't get any better, mate. Doesn't get any better. Uh, just blown away, mate. It's total football. Unbelievable. All the way, four goals, fantastic. So, so happy. Can you believe what you're watching? No, I can't, honestly. There's a debate on about who the best player City have ever had. Colin Bell, Paul Power, Mike Summerbeck. Mate, hands down, David Silva is just pure genius, isn't it? Every time, just blows it away. No wonder he's gone Berlin, isn't it? Oh, mate, the little one too, he was banging with, with Braz. It's perfect, it's amazing football, just love it. Long mate, continue. Enjoy your trip, boy. Cheers, Ian, you too. Ta-ra, mate. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant tonight, again. Showed pure class throughout the game. Swansea wanting the game from the first minute, I thought. Uh, Danilo put a brilliant shift in, I thought. Uh, every single man again, brilliant. No, no other words can describe that team. Fantastic performance again, mate. Could easily have been 10. Dominated the ball. 
it's just like watching it's like watching Brazil mate all over again I'd pay hundred pounds to come and watch never mind 30 mate phenomenal go on the city boys you've obviously seen great players at City down the years oh my god how, how does this team compare I, I don't think it, it does honestly I really don't I think it's the best yeah the players that. that you're watching at the moment, are they as good as the 68 team, for example? Yeah, yeah. probably don't go back quite that far. But uh, what I've seen of them... they got the same ethos as Alisson, haven't they? Yeah, so it's like yeah. back to the old days. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm I mean, saying. Alisson's like, you know, he's like Pep's like, almost like sort of taking yeah. where Alisson left off, really, yeah. in the glory days. So it's Colin brilliant. Bell, Dennis, oh Dennis God! Yeah, yeah. yeah. The same quality, yeah. Aren't they? yeah, yeah. No, they are. Yeah. They are. But as a collective, I don't know. I think this one's fantastic. So, yeah. You know, I feel very privileged, very lucky to be able to watch this Manchester City team. I've been watching the club for a long, long time, and this is the best football I've ever seen. Uh, to watch a player like David Silva, and I know I could talk about other players as well today, uh, but to watch David Silva uh, it is just a, a privilege. I know there's lots of City fans who would love to be sat where I'm sat on the bench at Swansea, having just watched that performance. And there were times in the game, I can't deny, when, uh, particularly when David Silva did certain things, but there were other players doing it too. He did something on this near touchline, for example, that made me go, oh, wow. Uh, and that's, I suppose, why I come to football, to watch moments like that. And for it to be my team, City, that are doing it is amazing. Um, I don't know how long this run can continue on. Long may it last. But the actual joy of watching it against, all right, a weak team in, uh, in Swansea City is just something I just can't get over. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling really for words. Uh, thanks for watching the vlog again. Thanks very much for Music Punk Magpie again. Don't forget to subscribe down the bottom. Uh, don't forget to share the word. Uh, and as I said at the beginning of the vlog, uh, with your support, I can continue to do this because I enjoy doing it.